What's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to be teaching you two simple text effects to elevate your video inside DaVinci Resolve. Hey, if you're new here, my name is Josh Haynes. I'm a freelance filmmaker and I bring out videos that help you grow as creators. Consider subscribing if you have not already. So today we're doing two different effects inside DaVinci Resolve all around text and titles, the text scramble effect and the video text effect. Let's load up DaVinci Resolve and get going. So to create this effect, the first thing we're going to need is a text. So we're going to go over here inside our edit page. We're going to go to the toolbox. Then we are going to go to titles. And right here, we're going to grab the text plus. Do not grab the text. Text plus is what we want. We're going to drag that onto our timeline right here. Over here under the inspector video, we're going to go to text where we can customize our title. You can put whatever text you would like. You can put whatever format you like, font, color, you name it. That's really up to you. So after I added my text in here, I am going to go to the font. I'm going to pick a font I like. Again, this comes down to you, dealer's choice. After I have my text selected, I am going to mess with the size a little bit, maybe the tracking, but I kind of like where the tracking's at just out of the gate. Then inside the text box, we are going to right click and we are going to go right down here to text scramble. We're going to click that. We're going to hop down here inside the fusion page where we're going to be doing all the magic. I'm going to pick a point in my video length that I want it to scramble. I'm going to say 25 frames. That seems pretty good. I am going to go to the modifier on the right. If you do not see this, make sure the inspector is turned on. I'm going to click on modifiers again, making sure I'm where I want it to be. I am going to add a keyframe on randomness, and then I am going to go all the way to the back and I am going to kind of scroll it up a little bit, something like that. I'm gonna play that through, see how that is. Not bad, maybe it's just a little long, so I'm gonna hit Command Z a couple times just to go back. Let's do frame 15, let's add a keyframe on randomness, then let's go back to number one and let's crank that up quite a bit. Play that through and that seems a lot better. Now, something I do like doing is going to the spline tool and I like to click on the randomness, click on that and smooth it out a little bit. I just personally think it looks a little better going into it a little bit smoother instead of just hard hitting. If you want to adjust that, you can. I tend to not go too crazy, something like that. I think looks good. Again, in this modifier, you have multiple things you can do, time, randomness, and don't change spaces. That is something that I want to do on my own. So we're gonna click on the tools again. We are gonna go right to the 15 where we already have the keyframe. Shut that spline tool off, don't need it. I'm gonna add a keyframe on tracking and then I'm gonna go right to the very beginning and I'm going to space that out just a little bit. Now, if we play that through, you can see it slowly kind of comes back in the space. If we wanna make it bigger, we can make it really big, something like that. I think that looks pretty good. Jump back in the edit page, and now you have a simple text scramble effect inside your videos. Now, before we go on to the second effect, I wanna talk about the sponsor of today's video, and that is Motion Array. I've been using Motion Array for a very long time. They have so much on their website. The new thing they have is voiceover. So if we click on that, it'll take us right to an insane library of voiceovers that we can pick and choose what we want. You just add whatever text you are wanting, finding a voice that you like, selecting it, and then hitting generate. Motion Array is the best one-stop shop for all your video editing needs. Now, I will be honest with you, I am insanely partial to the zero-in voiceover effect. Motion Array is the best one-stop shop for all your video editing needs. It might be my voice. Yes, actually they did. They, they had me come out. I got to see behind the scenes and how they put this into work and the magic that goes behind it. No matter if you use the zero in voiceover, that might be yours truly, as well as any of the other ones they have in their amazing library. Motion Array is there for you to make your videos that much better. If you're wanting to check out Motion Array, I'll have a link in the description below. Use that link and you'll get a discount code on an already good deal using Motion Array. Thank you so much for sponsoring this video and other creators just like me. Now the second effect is the video pass through effect. And I personally like using this on many different projects and it is just as easy as to do as a video scramble. Might be a little easier. Now, again, we're gonna need a title. I'm gonna pick the text plus just because I like being able to customize it. You can't do as much in the text, so I always grab a text plus. What we're gonna do is we're gonna add whatever title we want. Again, inspector, video, text. Then we're gonna customize whatever we want our title to be. 
We are then gonna select our font. I personally like using something that's very thick, bold letters because it's gonna show the video through it better. We're gonna customize it however we like. I think that's pretty good right there. Then we are gonna need some video clips. Now you can do this with many different video clips. Again, Motion Ray has plenty of stock video clips that you can use. So we've got two different ones. We've got uh, something that's more just like lens flares. And then we've got one that's like a sparkler effect going. So we'll try each. I'm gonna grab the sparkler effect. I'm gonna drag it on top. I'm going to trim it up so it's the length of our video. And then with the video selected, again, inspector, video. We're gonna go to the composite mode. We're gonna click that and we're gonna go to darken. I am gonna size it up just a little bit because I think it's just a little too dark in the corners. And now you can see if we play that through, we have a video inside the text. I do like using this effect for transitions. So if I duplicate this text by hitting option on my keyboard, moving it over, I'm gonna grab the circle light. I'm gonna drag it down right on top. And you can see that it starts black and then brings in color and is gonna go back to black. I think that's kind of cool. So we're gonna click that again, composite mode. We're gonna go to darken. And now you can see the video text kind of fades in and then fades out. If that's a little short for you, you could always customize it, make it longer, add something else in there. But that is another way that you could really make this specific to your needs and your videos. That's it for me today. Two simple text effects inside DaVinci Resolve to elevate your videos and make your life that much better. Thank you so much for watching this video. And uh, if you're new here, consider subscribing. Check out Motion Ray. Got links in the description below. You're amazing. I'm the Iron Giant. See y'all next time. Peace.